Well, there are real fears that that hospital blast in Gaza could ignite a broader regional conflict. Protests have erupted in Lebanon, outside the U.S. Embassy and a United Nations facility. I want to go now to Mola Lengi, who's there in Beirut with the latest. We saw those pictures earlier, Mola, protesters right outside the U.S. Embassy. You were there. What did you see? Yeah, James, things definitely getting tense on the streets of Beirut this afternoon. As you mentioned, uh, we were out there. Uh, outside the U.S. Embassy earlier today as hundreds of protesters pushed toward the embassy, uh, throwing rocks and stones, debris, launching fireworks. There were uh, several dozen soldiers from the Lebanese military who were uh, standing by helping to protect the embassy as these protesters pushed towards it. Uh, those soldiers pushing protesters back down the narrow road that leads up to the U.S. Embassy, deploying tear gas, uh, rubber bullets, uh, hoses, uh, doing everything they could to, to try to push those protesters back. And then after all that, they would physically rush at the protesters, uh, pushing them back, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, beating them with their batons. And that went on for about an hour. It turned into a sort of a push and pull where protesters uh, and soldiers would go back at each other. Soldiers would push the protesters back. A few moments later, the protesters would start throwing the rocks and the sticks, anything they could find in the streets to hurl at those prote at the uh, soldiers. And then the soldiers would, would push them back. It was a, a push and pull for, that went on for some time. Uh, protesters, of course, are out there. They are critical of uh, the United States, their support of Israel, uh, and what they describe as Israel's bombardment of innocent Palestinian uh, civilians. Uh, over the last week. Uh, we saw dozens of people out there who were getting injured, uh, getting carried around by other protesters, thrown onto scooters, thrown into to ambulances. Uh, and then again, that went on for, for about an hour. It has subsided here in the last 30, 45 minutes or so, but Lebanese soldiers are still uh, out on the streets, uh, standing by for any potential flare-ups, but we are expecting uh, these protests to continue, James. And Mola, talk to us about the wider situation in Lebanon. I know you spoke to a Hamas official who's based in Lebanon. Obviously, Hezbollah is a big player in this part of the world. Talk to us about how Lebanon could decide on where this conflict goes next. Yeah, we're seeing uh, continued clashes along the border, uh, James, along the Lebanese-Israeli border uh, between Hezbollah, the Iranian-backed militia here, uh, and Israeli forces. They have been relatively small-scale clashes uh, thus far. Uh, but, of course, the fear, the concern, uh, is that these will erupt into a, a broader conflict uh, throughout the region, dragging other countries uh, throughout the region into that conflict, potentially other countries throughout uh, the world. There has been a lot of tough talk from both sides uh, who are threatening the other, obviously. Hezbollah has left open the possibility uh, for an attack on Israel's northern front. Uh, Israel has positioned uh, tens of thousands of troops uh, in the vicinity of the border. Obviously, we have uh, United States aircraft carriers, two of them that are positioned in the eastern Mediterranean, uh, standing by uh, as a deterrent uh, to Hezbollah. So certainly things tense, a lot of tough talk. And a lot of people living along that border and in these countries hoping that things do not escalate to the point where they are caught in the crossfire and caught in the middle of a war, James. Thanks, Mola. Yeah, and look, I think a lot of people are worrying whether or not Hezbollah will join a conflict here, waiting for Israel to get bogged down in the ground incursion in Gaza, and then suddenly the Iranians are telling Hezbollah, you move in from the north. I think there's a real concern about that at the moment. Mola, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.